Hello and welcome to Below the Skyline on New Central Television. I am Dakbo Adigboye. The news begins in the west of the continent where F-24 has invited the Senegalese to mobilize on May 12, 2023 for a large mobilization against the unconstitutional third candidacy of Macky Sall. More than 100 political and civil society groups in Senegal formed the coalition. F-24 intends to stand up to the regime in place to fiercely oppose this attempt to confiscate the law. It also called for the release of political detainees arrested during demonstrations over a defamation case against Sonko brought by Tourism Minister Maimon Baye Nyang, who is a member of Sao's party. Joining us on the news is Adolphus Mawolo, a Senegalese journalist who would give us uh, insight into this. Thank you so much for your time, Adolphus. It's my pleasure to be with you uh, on your news program. All right. Now, the recently formed F24 coalition is mobilizing the people against President Macky Sall's uh, third term, even though he has not uh, yet declared. What do you think uh, makes them think he's going to, you know, go on a rerun? And uh, why are they saying no? Well, Mackie has been reticent uh, for a while, and we have a couple of months to next year's uh, presidential election. And because he has not made a declaration to the fact that he is not going to contest, but also the fact that the constitution was amended uh, a few years ago makes um, people think that uh, he might be contemplating on contesting. And for ordinary Senegalese or many Senegalese uh, participating in the political space, they want to maintain the democratic culture of this country. That means they want a two-term mandate to be maintained, and any attempt by the president to want to override that, they will want to resist him. Now, do you think that they will achieve uh, what they have requested, uh, like the release of the political detainees? Well, um, President Mackey has been uh, conciliatory in the past couple of months. I remember just before the country's uh, last independence anniversary on April 4, he called for a national dialogue. But until now, uh, political opponents have not given in to sit and dialogue on the different governance issues that they, 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 they are concerned about but the president uh, keep pushing that line so let's see what's going to happen but of course um there are demands again part of it uh, part of which is the release of political detainees increasingly the government is cracking down on the media journalists have been arrested uh political activists but again this is what happens in this country when the country is heading towards general and presidential elections uh, so Mackey has a lot of pressure and he, I assume, is preoccupied with uh, keeping this country stable. The variables surrounding Senegal are not very favorable. You have uh, Burkina Faso, you have Mali, you have uh, Guinea Conakry. So there is instability. Uh, you have threats of uh, jihadism across the region. And Senegal is one of the bastion of hope, uh, uh, one of uh, the countries in the region where democracy keeps thriving. And so everyone is hoping that uh, the political forces in this country will come together, dialogue, and put the interest of the country first, believing that uh, when they act in ways that do not undermine peace and security, the country will continue to remain stable. Okay, now I, I just want to ask uh, two questions for than one. Mackie has not officially declared. Do you see him declaring, you know, uh, for a third term? And also the phrase confiscating the law, what do they actually mean by that? Uh, I am not a legal luminary starting with the last question, so I don't want to give, a, a, give an interpretation of what, um, I mean, do not want to be seen as uh, giving a direct interpretation of what that means. But again, the constitution was uh, amended. Like I said, the constitution was amended. Uh, initially, Senegal had a seven year term, but when Maki assumed the power in 2012, he proposed to reduce that to five years. And that was done for some political actors that really laid the basis for Maki to argue or to want to contest a third term. And this is what exactly we're saying. 
Maki granted an interview to the Express. I think that's the name of the of the of the publication in Europe uh, a couple of months ago, and he was asked whether he was going to contest. He didn't rule out, but also he didn't confirm. So he has been quiet, and that's the fear uh, that people are harboring. That the fact that the president has not stated that he's not going to contest. Uh, it means uh, he might be contemplating on that. So that's where we are. It's a, it's a, it's a cash to the two situation, if you may. All right, thank you so much for your time. Adolfo Smawolo. It's my pleasure, thank you.